Hi, what is going on guys? Ace the motherfucking weirdo here. Bring you guys a live video, or well, live on my end. We are we're currently going to be watching the boardroom uh, from Skate. We have 10 seconds to go. Here we go. I'm going to turn it on the audio so you guys can actually hear. Oh gosh. Let me get my headset going on. I'm not prepared for this. Oh, hold on. We're here. We made it. There we go. I made it. I cannot believe it. Uh, welcome to something that we like to call the boardroom. I'm Cuz Perry, one of the creative directors on the game, and I've been here since uh, forever. Uh, I'm so stoked to be here and finally be able to share some exciting updates and information. We've been teasing you for a couple of years. I think now we can share. A yeah, let's see what's going on. I would turn my camera uh, on, but about how we got here, where we're going with the vision, and then talk a little. Bit I just about woke up, <laughs> uh, and, and then switch gears to talk about how you can get involved. Yes, you. And play the game eventually coming up but yeah that's a lot to cover so let's jump right into it i've got some awesome team members i'm gonna ask them to introduce themselves what they do and also why they're stoked to be here isabel dan brandon who are you because i don't know <laughs> obviously because i said dan and isabel and tell us what you do on skate and what your favorite thing about working on skate hi everyone i wonder how long this is gonna be isabel Mocha head of product management. My favorite thing about working on Skate is helping build a completely new experience within an established... I love her franchise. accent. That's awesome. So exciting. I think she's French, right? Thank you. I am Dan McCulloch. I'm the general manager of Full Circle. Uh, I'm just really pumped to be here. We got a lot of awesome stuff to cover. What's up, guys? I'm Brandon. Stream on Twitch. Big fan of the Skate series. Skate 3 is my favorite game of all time, and I'm here to maybe find out a little bit more information about the game from these devs. Let's see. I'm gonna get the screws from the avalanche. All right, let's see it. <laughs> we launched Skate 3 over 12 years ago. Facts. And what a surreal journey it's been. We had to do some waiting, uh, but finally the time came. You guys, you know, were so positive about it, and EA eventually <laughs> said, give us a pitch. A pitch was put together, it was greenlit, and then things have been just coming fast and furious since then and what we're talking about is an authentic oh they didn't show that oh skate okay trend, but also one that reflects where skateboarding and gaming is in the real world the best part about it for all you fans that are expecting skate skate is at the core the essence of what it is it still feels like skate it, it's got all the fun it, the toys there it, it has that visceral feeling but also okay it's got the kicks, oh the slam, yo you know <laughs> fun with physics all the let's go look more skates Oh. So we have a lot of new Okay, I got to have to rewind this and watch this. So like it. run it down. Yeah. Okay, this is big news. Drum roll. Where is it going to take place? San Vansterdam. I right, bet. Right, San Vansterdam. It's a whole new city. Whole new city. But I like to kind of think of it as a sister city to our old beloved San Vanalona. Oh, I bet. Fire hosing you a bit. So it's time to kick it on over to Dan and tell Come us about on. The circle, our studio making it. Yeah. How, how we looking though? Oh, hey, Appreciate it. Yeah, like I said, uh, you know, things definitely moved fast after we were greenlit for this project. And it didn't take long before Full Circle was formed and Skate was in full swing. So we're, we're pretty pumped. Sounds incredible. Can you tell us a little more about it? <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, Full Circle is a little bit different than a lot of studios. We were born during the pandemic, right? So right. Uh, the studio's mostly remote with people all over North America, in Vancouver, in Montreal, Seattle, uh, Orlando, LA, all over the place. And, uh, you know, really coming together to build this awesome product. Uh, the cool thing is that we have a lot of people Not sure. the original skate team like Cuz and others and we have a whole new generation which is actually awesome that, that we have them in there bringing fresh new ideas and perspectives to the franchise and our mission is to create an authentic evolution of the skate franchise that can be enjoyed the whole parkour thing for years to come i like it to do that we're embracing <clears throat> and building on everything our community found special about the previous games and is giving us feedback on Day -day. Yeah, we're basically making so, a game. We're just not getting anything yet. <laughs> okay, throw the bottles and everything at me now. Skate 4. No, it's not Skate 4. Ah, here's I'm going to still call it Skate 4. It's not a remake. It's not a reboot. A prequel. It's not any of that. Type ah. Of remaster. Whatever we can do. This is it. It's Skate. We're in it for the long haul. That means we're not an iterative title. There won't be a Skate 5 through 10. We won't be making them all. <laughs> we're going to do this. We're Where's Skate 7 at? Say over the course of time and put the features that you guys want into. Okay, and one more time for the people in the back. It's skate. It's not. Skate but what about skate, skate one? Period. That's why we put a little period. 
Okay, skate with a period. Bet. We have the ambition There's a parkour to thing. Supporting skate for years to come. Oh, so oh! That's dope. Skate, the development team knew we wanted to They're going through some little different. rings. Our vision was not a game that you would play through and beat. Oh, I bet. But something that you can regularly come back to and discover new things. Our dream is that skate never ends. All right, I don't think, hey, this game is never going to end. Actively supporting skate with new gameplay elements and tweaks, new content releases and events, and lots of seasonal drops. Okay, so seasonal drops? really just the beginning of what we want to do with this game. I got to stop you. You said launch. When? Look, right here. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this one. Uh, maybe not tomorrow. Ah! It might be a little cliche, Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, when it's ready. Ah! And, and we really mean that, right? He said tomorrow. Um, the team's gonna talk more about the approach to development in a little bit. Like I said, we really wanted to get as much feedback from our players as possible. We want it to feel good. And when the experience is just right, that's when we'll officially launch it. We wanted to remove as many barriers to entry as possible so that everyone can play together on day one. Okay. Regardless of price or platform. So that's why the next gate game. I knew it! Free to play title Online. Online. To gamers or, the world. or is it for the. I believe that making it free to play helps us with that. Let's go! Everybody was right. Oh, I didn't play Skate 1 or Skate 2. And we're like, why not? Couldn't afford it. Or. He was on PlayStation. They were on Xbox. Let's go. Free to play. Oh, my gosh. We want the whole world to fall in love with what we love. Skateboarding, the culture, and the game. And to build off of that, you know, we really want folks to get the most value out of their playing experience as possible. And be able to play on their favorite platforms the way that they like to play. And so, Skate will be full cross-play and cross-progression across last-gen, next-gen, and PC. And we'll take it even further and... Um, as we're continuing down this road and do the same thing with mobile, right? We want cross mobile cross progression. I know I saw mobile, but how are they gonna do the mobile? mobile but we want to get the controls and everything to feel great um, And when that's ready, we'll bring it all together and you'll be able to play on whatever platform you want with with your friends And, and that's gonna be awesome. And that's kind of this. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm assuming uh, free to play for online so just like a halo infinite But the game like story mode that's yet to pay But you guys probably know what I'm about to ask you Will there be microtransactions in the game? Yes. We knew that to support a never ending, ever. So it's going to be like. Play World of Skate, we'd have mm, to look into different models for the game itself. I mean, even if they. Means that there will be nah, they should have. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And we know that this is a sensitive subject. It is. That's why when we decide to explore this model, we made some hard ground rules to follow. The first one is that skate is not pay to win. Um, oh, it's not pay to win. Thank the Lord. Woo. It's all about skill. You have to pay to unlock the oh, everything's going to be unlocked. Boxes. No loot boxes. Um, bad. no gameplay altering advantages that you can pay for. No well. paid gameplay. It mean all right. Get some water down skate either. This is going to be an authentic, uh, bigger than ever game for, for the fans. All makes sense, but I have to say, still a little bit nervous. I mean, they say microtransaction yeah, uh, because they need to make some type of money, of course. We were looking <laughs> at uh, this model. Uh, we looked at versions of it out there that we liked and those we didn't. Uh, and we are still continuing to explore different options, but we are taking inspiration from games like Apex Legends or other popular titles uh, that are free to play. Uh, where you know spending money is totally optional and I just want to see the story gameplay and everything and with such model like it better not just be online keep the community united between the players who decide to spend and those who don't and that means that those social connections those friendships made in game can flourish without splitting our audience yeah that was something that we didn't want to repeat from previous gay games right every time someone bought dlc we were splitting that audience into smaller and smaller that games. is true though so, you know now our players can unlock you know can enjoy many hours of the game uh, without spending any money and you know they can unlock cosmetics like they they did in the past and I think that's going to be something that uh, brings in a whole new set of players that can make friends and play together. And we're excited about that. What we believe is that this <coughs> free-to-play model will allow us to deliver the best game possible for years to come, from launch and years on. I feel like the game's not going to end, though. Transparent with it. 
in what we're planning to do and what we're going to ask for feedback and as we get closer to worldwide launch. Perfect segue. Like I mentioned okay. a couple times now, you know, feedback is at the core of everything that we're doing. They're full showing service. little gameplays that have not been showed. And get that I want to see more. <laughs> um, we're going to have people from the team that are going to come and talk more about exactly how we're going to go about doing that. Okay. I'm now joined by three more developers who are working on the upcoming title. Who are you guys? Oh. What do you do with Skate? And what's your favorite thing about working on Skate? Go for it, John. Let's find out. Hi, uh, I'm Andrea Gonçalves, and I'm a designer on Skate. Bet. Uh, my favorite thing about this project is to be able to bring the diversity of the skateboarding community into San Amsterdam and allow everyone to represent themselves in our world. Hi everyone, I'm Mike McCartney. I'm executive producer on Skate. Uh, I'm a veteran of the original series of Skate games and coming back to work on this franchise that has such an amazingly passionate development team as well as an amazingly passionate community. Uh, it's such an honor. It just keeps me excited to work on this project every day. And uh, I'm Darren, uh, creative director, partnering with Cuz, and uh, as, like Mike, worked on the first three games. And uh, yeah, I mean, what I'm excited, I'm excited that it exists. I'm excited that we're doing it. You know, it's it's pretty crazy. It's been 12 years. It's been a long road to get here. Yeah, it has. 12 years is a long ass years. time, Bill. I'm glad. You know, before before we move forward, I just <coughs> wanted to say like a quick thank you to you, yeah. to the community, for like the last 12 years of playing and passion. I don't know why people are complaining Both, about free to play. Like you know, trolling our Instagram account. It makes and, sense, uh, you know. Like I've said, you know. A, Previously, you guys commented us into existence, and you know, we wouldn't be here without. I don't know without. That's what we're here hey, for. I mean, we love, you we guys love ask for the game, right? <laughs> and they're complaining that it's free to play. Nah, nah, stop complaining. A select group of diehard skate fans to play a super, super early version of the game and give us their thoughts about where we're heading and. Um, like they gotta make some type of money. Uh, Duh. We've got a lot of work to do. Our community testing <clears> is <throat> happening in free, free, free alpha software which is pretty unheard of in the industry we spent a lot of time wondering if this was a good idea or not and at the end of the day we feel like bringing in players from the start would ensure that we build the best skate game possible it gives us the best oh look at that guys to move fast to try new things look at the map though from those things. And, and that's why we're focusing on <laughs> not art and not visuals you know we know we need to to lend the foundation of the game that actually is so dope move on to those things so you know 100%. the secret sauce is the core toy is the mechanics and, and with your help okay to do that hey i'm happy to lend a hand yeah so now that we've been playtesting with small groups uh, of players and our <coughs> internal teams for about a year we're ready to extend our oh look at this to the broader skate community uh, while we can't get everybody into the game this summer yeah. we'll be bringing in more and more players in over the coming ah uh, i need to get so this game head on over to the skate website become a skate insider and have a chance to play and help build this game with us this is something the team at full circle is beyond stoked about uh launching and and we can't wait to see you in the game with us what's the most exciting thing but like i like how they say it's all about gameplay as developers it's not about uh, like me, the graphics week by week they want to make sure the gameplay is good being hands-on with the play test and seeing the progression in the game has been astounding that was my favorite part for me personally it was actually before you guys were hands-on it was like you know the first six months we were just talking we were just talking about the vision presenting like our ideas for for the game to you guys and that gave us a ton of confidence like as dan and isa and cuz were talking about earlier there's a lot of big changes like this is an evolution of the franchise and bringing you guys in early and getting your feedback like yeah it is the right way for us to go meant the world to us and, and gave us this confidence to like that we're going down the right path so. see look i don't know why they're saying l bruh did you ask for the game or not i don't even care if it's free to play or not from what you tell us but also just from seeing you play the game uh we can get uh to see how you play where you go where you fall how many hard flips you do uh, so it's been super helpful to see how you explore and interact with our world yeah i mean having worked on previous game the things that gets me excited is introducing new players to this franchise or uh just because they missed it the first time around skate's always been really unique uh, in my mind because there is no wrong way to play skate. We never tell you play this way. People find their own styles and ways to play. <coughs> That's the and best thing about Oh, look at that. Oh, yo. <laughs> sliding. Give them the opportunity. You're gonna slide in the game now? And to make more skateboarders. <laughs> <laughs> Our I'm, I just want a story mode. As well as giving us feedback on 
our core skate mechanics as well as letting us know what they'd like to see added to the game and what systems need work to get up to the level and the feel that Darren talked about. Um, you know, things like new systems like lip tricks, which we're adding to, to the game now, <clears> or, you know, tweaking our power slide system. Okay. Feel, uh, a lot better. Something I'm very excited about, and I know the community is also very excited about, is the multiplayer aspect to the yes. game. Yeah. What is that yeah. going to look like? What does so, that entail? I mean, skate is always more fun with friends. And and that is that's true. Why we're building much more than a linear single player. Oh, you can do tricks over your friends? So we want <laughs> the game to reflect skateboarding itself. And, you know, skating is more global than it's ever been, and it's really about community. It's about community at the park. Like, you may not know everyone at the skate park when you go skating, but you're trying your trick, and some Grom is, like, learning to drop in, and everyone's stoked for him. Like, everyone's kind of there having a collective experience, that's and that's super about. special, right? So bringing players together from around the world is really at the heart of everything that we're trying to do and making it massive multiplayer. That is so sick. Look how many people are in there. It's a huge game changer for us. Like, you've seen it. Mm. 100%. Yeah, yeah. One of the features we should probably talk a bit about is what we've seen with players playing with Collabazone. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should yeah. talk about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, so uh, Collabazones have definitely been one of the coolest things that we see players interact with. Um, there are these wild cooperative building areas where pr players can let their imagination run wild and make the most insane skateable things together. We've received incredibly positive feedback. Oh, oh, towards these yeah. <laughs> Yeah, in the play time, that's me and dope. the homies would flock to these collabo zones. I mean, they're constantly changing, and personally, I think it's a great new addition of the game. Yeah, for sure. Like, we saw that in their last play tests, a lot of the game time was spent in the collabo zones. And what was interesting is that it, this was just with the players finding the collabo zones by themselves. We're not leading them there or telling them too much about it. So that was pretty cool. Uh, we saw that one player was building a huge mega ramp. That was me. <laughs> uh, he's like, that was me. Uh, oh, yeah, this one. Invited everyone to ch come check it, and soon a bunch of other players joined in. Start doing that is so it, sick, though. Took photos and shared it, and was super fun to watch. Um, this kind of information, just by seeing you play the game, allows us to... Yeah, somebody's uh, saying win game L chat. <laughs> adjust designs and improve tools for creators so they can do more of this for everyone. So we can do all kinds of good stuff with this. Yeah, and that's just one of the new things I and mean, yeah. there's probably some other things worth talking about um and uh, some of our observations probably talk about plumping yes <laughs> yes yeah. we should yeah, yeah. okay yeah. maybe maybe next look at that parkour are you guys sure that you don't have a release date for us yeah so i mean i could say tomorrow like cuz would but uh <laughs> our mantra is you know let's not f it up right so we're gonna take our time and not put any unrealistic expectations on, you know, when it comes to a launch. Right, of course. It'll be when it's ready. I mean, that's the right way to do it. But we're excited to be extending an invite to the skate community to play the game and develop in the summer and in the coming months. Hey, you heard the men. Go sign up. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to keep talking, but we got to wrap this up. No! On behalf of myself and the entire team at Full Circle working on skate, I want to thank you for giving us your eyes. Okay, well, we got a little more information. Being a part of making this game a reality. You brought us back, and we can't wait to get you in game. Exactly. People, stop complaining. You guys got the game. We got the game. I love this. Let's go. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Oh, it's a bug? Nope. All right, guys. I don't know why people are complaining about the game like oh it's a it's a win it's a dub just because they have the uh paying for cosmetics it don't matter that's fine you're getting the whole game for free what is the issue you know what i'm saying like the game is already like being made i, I lowkey thought that the game would have been announced like oh yeah we're gonna be releasing in december next year honestly i'm still i'm sticking to my word next year uh 2023 for sure i don't know when but that's just my guess and my you know I don't know. They just don't want to F it up. Common sense. But guys, 10 out of 10. Uh, let me know your opinions on what you think about this. I am going to be out. You guys take care. I love you all. And stay tuned for Friday's stream and Sunday's upload. Bye. Bye. Ace the weirdo, he's a realist alive. Ace the weirdo, he's a realist alive. So I better see you hit that like and subscribe. So you better hit that like and subscribe. Cause Ace the weirdo, he's a realist alive. Ace the weirdo, he's a realist alive. So I better see you hit that like and subscribe. Hey, so you better hit that like and subscribe. Let's go.